Hey everyone, welcome back again. Today we're going to talk about how to import different types of videos into Spark AR so you don't just have to watch these wonderful nodding people the entire time. This is a pretty common question. It's actually really easy to do. So let me show you how to do it. So as you open Spark AR, you're going to have these list of videos that are up here. So you have this video and you can choose whichever one you want through all these different types of people. That's great, but let's say you want to, you know, record something that looks a little better than that. Let's say you want to apply your uh, your filter to a movie. Guess what? We can do that. So here's how we do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our Finder window. And we are going to go to the Applications folder. And we're going to go down and find Spark AR. Right click and do Show Package Contents. And underneath you're going to have Contents and then resources and then look right here there are all the videos great so all we're gonna have to do is just replace this video pretty cool right so all you have to do is you have to go find what source video you want I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull over this um, I like to find one that have a lot of faces on them that way it's not cutting in between scenes and things like that so I like to use speeches and stand-ups and things like that so we're just gonna use a stand-up from Jerry Seinfeld and we're gonna rename it so you can see this is an mp4 file doesn't matter we're gonna name it um, an MOV and match everything about uh, Ambika I assume her name is here and we're gonna use the 740 version so you can see that one is right here. We're gonna replace this one. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna rename this one um, to like dot back or something like that. So let's just go ahead and do that so it won't load. We're gonna take our new Jerry Seinfeld clip. We're gonna drag it over here. Great. Now you'll notice that it didn't change. That's totally fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna completely close Oops. out of Spark. We're gonna restart it all over again. So at this point it's loaded. So I'm going to open up a um, effect of mine called Automaton. And it's going to load up here. I'm going to pull it over and look at that. Pretty cool, right? So you can actually click this button here and flip between uh, different things. But all the different effects will work. So you can see I can click on his face. Or I'm going to click on his eyes and change the color. Um, and I can click right up here and I can flip this over. And this is a really great way to, um, to be able to preview um, any movie you want, to be able to take any effect you have and pull it into uh, to any movie. So there's a good tidbit um, on how to do this. You can also try doing it up here and clicking this Add button, but the limitations of this file box here uh, are this dialog box say that you have to have less than 50 megs and have a re resolution of 640 by 480. Um, neither of that is true with this. this. This file is actually 27 megs. Um, and has a, uh, a completely different resolution than that. So, um, so anyway, uh, this is a really great way to import whatever video you want. Hopefully this saves you some time or at least gives you an ability to then take this and record it. You can record some like high quality uh, samples of your own uh, filters where you don't feel like you're having to point your phone at a screen or something like that. So hopefully I saved you some time and some frustration.